Today I'm chatting with Trinidadian designer, activist, entrepreneur, and Project Runway winner, Anya Yangchi. She does not hold back a thing. She opens up about her marriage, pregnancy, and her sexuality. She's setting the record straight right here at Basha. Welcome to part two of Basha Woman Who Slay. And as you know, in part one, I had the most candid conversation with my girl, my slayer, my queen, my Caribbean sister, Anya Yangchi. Anya, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You came correct, and thank you for that. One of the things I admire about you, and I, and I really do, um, is your authenticity, your ability to be strong but vulnerable. A lot of women don't understand how to do that. Mm. And that goes a long way. I think that's what makes you so endearing, or for the want of a better word. And that's why people love you. you. You came correct. You're never afraid to talk your truth and live your truth. So I admire that. In you. It Thank took you. me a longer time to get there in my life. Thank you for recognizing it. Mm, what can I say? You know, you never did answer my question. I asked you in our last, right. um, in part one, like, how, how did why pose to you? You never said. Well, the first real real proposal mm -hmm. he um we were in new mexico his mother lives there in this yeah. beautiful part of uh outside of santa fe mm -hmm. in the desert and we walked up to a uh, sort of mountain ridge mm. and he's a photographer yeah. as you know mm -hmm. so somehow he had a camera set up on a tripod and i still didn't figure it out but really? I, um, he he proposed to me up there and it was really really memorable really this beautiful. was the, the first the first proposal, first proposal which okay. was in 2012. right um and so how many times this man proposed to you that was a real proposal meaning okay. like I, I was very surprised it right. was not like we were talking about marriage and you yeah. know and and so we were engaged for like I, the better I think half I recall of a year that engagement yes so who ended it it was mutual <laughs> a lot is happening i had just yeah. won the show um mm -hmm. it was a very overwhelming time and mm -hmm. and i think we hadn't fully healed from everything that had come before that maybe and everything then, as in the scandal associated with oh the my sex God, if i could even begin to list the number yeah. of things but that was obviously one part of it mm -hmm. um but i'm curious about your other parts i mean like well my, my, my brother dying before yeah. that mm -hmm. um being even even project runway itself was mm -hmm. as lot. amazing as it was it, it was Came very unprepared for what that was gonna mean for my life yeah. and i just you know we just were fractured yeah. And we needed more time, which I didn't know then. I you just thought I, we wanted, I wanted nothing. We didn't yeah. talk to each other at all. Really? Um, for a few years. And so from not speaking to each other for a few years to coming back and living happily ever after. Well, you, you don't know about the ever after part yet. I was ask you, I mean, well, but you must want it. Do you think this is it? This, is he the love of your oh, life? Oh, no, 100%. 100%. I think, I just don't think that it's wise to sort of place expectations on anyone's life whether whether it's in a marriage or your own life mm -hmm. that does not embrace the potential to go through ups and downs you know yeah. um, but having just to clarify having ups and downs don't mean that you're not going to stay married yes no mm -hmm. no I, I don't equate happily ever after with with yeah. full-on commitments like we are committed mm -hmm. and um and in many ways i suppose life has continuously brought us back to mm -hmm. this place and so I, I describe it as finally surrendering yeah. to it's the a, love. It's an at last moment. It really, it's, yeah. I think so many of us, or certainly I can speak only for myself, have, I, I, I put walls up for so long mm -hmm. to block real love out. Why? Because of the same thing we were talking about before, that we, we're not really taught how to love ourselves and yeah. we're not taught or we don't have many opportunities to receive love fully. Yeah. And I, did not know that's what I was doing. I didn't know I was pushing him away consistently um, in a way that was actually robbing myself of, of, of all this love, you yeah. know? And then when mm -hmm. finally I decided to, to receive it, it just like overwhelmed me, yeah. you know, which is what has been the defining factor of the last six months to a year. It really mm -hmm. has genuinely just shown me what it feels like to receive love fully. Receive love. And he has really tried, you know, yeah. like he's really been there. He's really wanted to give that to me. And but you I just, were free to receive it. Just fair. And the fair of what that actually means, you know. 
I just want to touch on the whole issue. I mean, now that you've raised that, and a lot of women, particularly where we come from, and I don't think it's a Caribbean um, centered thing. I think it's a will thing. Mm -hmm. We we're not taught to love ourselves. Yeah, and that's that's why I know we're not. Perhaps that's why we're not able to treat each other well as exactly. women. Exactly. That's a hundred percent why. You think so? If you don't I, love I yourself, truly believe you that. can't love other people. You know, you know what I mean? Like that has changed sense. my life when yeah. I discovered that. Mm -hmm. So like for those who be sure that they don't love me, I forgive them. Because mm -hmm. I understand what's really causing all of this. Exactly. You know? And then you learn to really have compassion even in very difficult moments. Even when people are hating on you. Yeah. Um, at least I have tried to learn that, that yeah. most of the time, if I really stopped and assessed, like, I've where is this coming from? You. I have seen, like, I, have, I don't know you personally mm -hmm. from back then. I, 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 know, I mean, I've known you socially. We, we've known each other to talk to, but I still see the difference. I feel the difference. Yeah. The energy is different in terms of, and I don't want to say, put cast judgments and say, oh, you're better now. Right. So that's not what I'm saying, because... I feel as though I have evolved, mm -hmm. but I would hate for people to say I'm better now. I think I'm right for this time. Exactly. You, you get what yeah, I'm no, saying? I totally agree. With but you. I see a difference. And I mean, you've been through a lot. I mean, now you're pregnant. Do you think that that also accounts for the fact that you're becoming a mother? Does that account for where you are right now? Uh, totally. I mean, yeah. it's what very... has it been like for you? Well, the yeah. pregnancy, that is. Yes. It's been, first of all, physically very easy. I am very grateful for that, and mm -hmm. I recognize that that is not always the case. No. So I'm very <laughs> grateful for that. So knock on wood. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. Emotionally, a little bit more trying at times, but mm -hmm. I've come into a place where I feel j extremely, extremely joyous about it and mm -hmm. grateful beyond immeasurable amount of mm -hmm. gratitude for the miracle that it really is. Yeah. Um, the first, first few weeks, I would say I was a little thrown off. I yeah. wasn't prepared and not that anyone's ever fully prepared. Yeah. But my, my biggest What struggle, do you mean you were thrown off? You had sex, you have a baby, you got to... But we weren't trying. <laughs> you, you weren't know? trying. Mm -hmm. um, and I didn't, I didn't plan for it and, and I've never been that girl to sort of dream up this life mm -hmm. of a family and yeah. I have a very vibrant, dynamic family life with yeah. my brothers and my parents as yeah. it is. So I have a family life, you mm -hmm. know, and it just wasn't that I was trying but to replace that. But now it's going to that. be your family life as you are on this That's on correct. Channel. Already it's shifted. It's and, shifted. Um, but the, my struggle really was more with being a woman mm -hmm. um, who is very, I'm very driven to build and continue building my own career mm -hmm. and my own identity and my own identity as it pertains to my work and mm -hmm. what I contribute to the world. And I just didn't know how See, was I going to... You're afraid of the balance. Like, how was I? Yes. How yeah. can I do both? You can. A lot but, of us do it. Yes. But in the beginning, I just did not know how to project myself mm -hmm. into the future. Yeah. And I didn't... I don't... I do have quite a few role models to show me that that's possible. Mm -hmm. But it just... You know, when you grow up in a society where a lot of women do have to sacrifice their own identity for their families and I think that should be the sort of the rule for life mm -hmm. you know instead of focusing on what I'm losing I eventually started focusing on what I'm gaining yeah. so do you know what you're having yet I do <laughs> are you gonna tell me <laughs> I, mean, I think I deserve to know since I um you know cuz I'm Basha and <laughs> I want to boast that I knew first on this platform <laughs> and I'm kind of like begging now. <laughs> um, well, I come from a family of a lot of boys mm -hmm. and not that the, you know, I was in charge of this determination, but mm -hmm. I'm having a boy. Yeah! And, um, <laughs> you heard that right here in Basha. Anya's having a boy. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you very much. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. I mean, there's nothing like the boy being, I know you were first and I'm a girl and I'm an only child, whatever, but it's nothing like having a son. Yeah. He's going to take care of you. And then you, you have get two to sons, be, right? Two sons. Yes. And I have a daughter by marriage. Right. So I have a balance. But I, just being able to see that baby's look, at you, when he looks at you, when he comes into this world for the first time, you don't think about gender or this I sex. know. So totally. You just think about unconditional love. love. It will be the purest love you've ever felt in your life. I believe it. And you smell that baby and it put 
him on your chest. Mm-hmm. Congratulations. I'm so Thank happy you. for you. I mean, you deserve happiness. You've been through a lot. Mm-hmm. You're going to make a great mother. Thank you. You know why? Tell me. Because you are true to yourself. So you'll be able to teach your child or your children how to be true to themselves. That's what makes a great mom and a great dad. So I'm so happy for you. I could cry right now. <laughs> that is amazing. Thank you. And yes, you, and you seem so excited. happy. I am. Yeah. So you know, do you want more kids? Let's just get through this <laughs> one first. I'm ready. Right. You know, everybody's like, when are you having the next one? Like, when you bring I my know, child home? Jeez. Like, Very difficult. I mean, it's a blessing. It's I, a blessing. But I do think that um, I'm I'm very keen to do this as best as I can. You realize and you can't take this child back to exactly. you. Exactly. <laughs> so, so, like, right? like, it's um, like joined to you for the next 21 years. If or not more. more. Or more. If not more. Do you have any regrets? Would you do anything differently? No. Nothing. No. Do you believe in God? That he exists? I don't believe in a personification of God. Mm-hmm. I believe in, in the divine, and I believe we all are divine. Mm-hmm. And I believe we're all expressions of something divine. I think that um, I'm a sum total of all of my life experiences, as hackneyed as that sounds. Yeah. Yeah. And I, if I did something differently, I'd be a different person. A different so person. it's not so much that I don't have regrets. And then you like where you are now. You like where you ended up. So let's talk about life after Project Runway. You... You've done a lot. You've just launched a new line. This is so spring summery and I love it. I think the timing is right. Um, can we expect, and you, you've done like a lot of dresses on this one. Can we expect other designs from you? Yes. The idea of this new collection line mm-hmm. um, is that it's limited edition. Nice. So everything, what is it called again? It's called Anya Youngshi Limited Edition. Nice. Ma- making the most really of mm-hmm. the limitations that I have made a problem yeah. for many years and has kept me back from doing a line again. In fact, mm-hmm. you know, I took a couple of years off from yeah. designing. So you haven't done a line in how long? I can't even tell you exactly, but I would say two years, yeah. officially. And why? Tell me why. I really want to know the truth because I want women to learn from this. Okay. The truth. I was very disenchanted with the industry after I won Runway. Not immediately, mm-hmm. but eventually Mm -hmm. and I did not find a lot of joy in trying to fit into the mold of what fashion the industry you know sort of expects of you Mm -hmm. I like to design clothes for warm weather Mm -hmm. I like to design clothes that I liked Mm -hmm. I did not like many artists do have it in me to sort of bend to the will of the commercial world Mm -hmm. and that is Mm -hmm. in retrospect naive but in rejecting it I learned to figure out what I do want to do. Mm-hmm. I do want to make clothes that women feel great in. I, I yeah. love effortless style. I love feeling as though I look great without feeling like I had to make a ton of effort. Yeah, it, it's amazing. You know, and I don't like feeling constricted. Mm-hmm. I love prints, I love color, and I'm, mm-hmm. you know, I'm very, very much a craving designer in, yeah. that, in those ways. You think After he had something I'm, to do with just fixing everything? Bringing, aligning everything for you, giving everything you, you went through with the sex tape, with everything. And this was this was this this helped to redeem a lot of things for you. I mean, that's what I felt when you won Project Runway. It a lot of things went away. Mm-hmm. Would you say that? No, no. Um, I would say publicly uh, to Pierre that way. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, because it was a great storyline for everybody else to say that I'd somehow redeemed myself. Yeah. But in my opinion, I had nothing to redeem because I didn't, as far as I was concerned, do anything wrong. And I maintain that. Um, My point of the whole story really was just that I never intended to win. And I never (laughs) intended to like, you know. I wish you didn't tell me that because I just wanted you to win and I wanted to be I know, like, everybody's like, sorry. you know, when people tell me, now, no, oh my no, God, I'm I not, knew from the first episode you're winning. I'm like, I, I wish I knew that. I am um, going to delete what you just said <laughs> from my mind. I want you to win. The story was flowing. Let's just go. I love a story. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the story was amazing. Mm-hmm. Well, that, I you think won. that's part of why I won. Yeah. It was a good story. It was and a good TV story. at the end it was of the day. TV. You know? And you know I like good TV, right? <laughs> yeah. So I wanted to create a platform for women. Um, and this is why we created bashapow.com and I call it slayers only because I call women my slayers, mm-hmm. women who inspire. You know, we want on this platform for all women to come together and support each other without ridicule, without judgment. Just 
knowing that all of us can have a seat at the table, not just one of us. And a woman shouldn't have to feel less than because another woman's light is shining. You know, the room is large enough for all the lights to shine and for us to be able to cheer each other on, knowing that we're all worthy, that we're all special and that we're all queens. Um, that's what Marsha Powell is about. That's what a slayer does, you know. Um, and that's why we say slayers only, because if you're not prepared to do that, you know, welcome. So this platform will just, I will have amazing discussions with several slayers from all over the globe, not just America, not just the Caribbean, but Asia and Africa. And, and just so that other women can know that there's a central thread that runs through all of us, just like the garments that you design. <laughs> And that thread is we all need validation, we all need respect, and we all want to feel special. And that's what it's about. Check us out on bashapowell.com and our Instagram, bashapowell. Slayers only. <laughs>